The one thing about catching video is that you don't have any tripods to hold the camera steady. It ends up being a little issue. So I decided to make a couple of tripods here. So first what I did is just make a guide out of wood eh, for the for the metal part on it. So it's right now it's just sitting in there and it's gonna get welded. After you weld them together and clean them up, give them a coat of paint. This is for two tripods. If you're gonna build one, you might as well build two. Rip the two by four down into one inch thickness. After cutting the two by fours into two inch by one inch, you set up the dado and then you make in tracks into the two inch into the two inch piece. When using the dado blade, you gotta be careful. See, I'm pulling it in and I'm just stopping. This is gonna end up being cut down here. And then there'll be a channel in the leg itself. Now all the legs have been cut to length. There's uh, well, a, a person will just put a bolt in here, a carriage bolt, and the tracks, the tracks here will uh, just run in the, so once I build my legs, then this will all fit together. Cut the tops out, and that's where you'll drill a hole, and that'll swivel on the steel piece that I made. Now we're gonna cut tracks into the legs. I'm gonna plunge it into the router bit, which is a quarter inch cutting bit.
once it's all installed with the, the metal holder at the top, this is what it looks like, still will need to be sanded and stained and so now we'll be working on the top piece where I'll build a clamp to hold it all on the top there. But right now, uh, and eventually, or we'll see, if you tighten up these, it holds the legs in place. And I may just take and put uh, a string or a, cha a small chain to go from leg to leg to hold it open. We'll see how it holds up. But as it stands right now, it's pretty sturdy. Just on its own and they're not even tightened up yet, so. Now I ripped a piece of two by four just uh, to one inch. And I will be using the hole saw to cut out two spacers. The spacers will go up on the top and that'll give you your swivel. Uh, I'll cut them out and you'll see that. Now I have these all cut out. I'll drill a hole the same size of the, as this and it'll just sit on top. I'll drill a hole out. I'll drill a hole out the same size as this. This right here. And then that'll just sit on top like this. I gotta clean them up though. Now I cut up a cup, uh, some pieces here. This will end up being screwed onto here and this will go onto there and that'll be your clamp. Uh, drill a big hole in here and a little quarter inch in hole in here. And that'll all go, that'll all go up and sit up on here. And it's two inches wide, four inches long. And now I'll have to cut grooves into here. Now we set up the chisel bit into the router. And we'll go and start making grooves into the piece. And we'll do that to all four pieces. So that we'll have some grooves in here, eh? Now that we cut the grooves into it, that's going to be what you're, what's holding your phone. Just a little clamp. Have to clean them up, sand them up. This is where it starts to get building the hardware for this. These are threaded hammering nuts. You just put them in and 
drive them in. And this will be put into it. What we'll do is take this and mount that right on the bottom. Just screw it on. You're gonna wanna drill bigger holes on this. And I made some pilot holes here so that you're gonna put a spacer block on here. Okay, as the clamp, the clamp just gets put together. It's like this. It holds in place. And that just sits right on your, right on there. And this swivels. Could have made the block a little bigger, but as it seems like, just because it tags the, the bolt, seems to hold it well and if you want to adjust angle at all it's pretty simple just loosen this off and you can change it the grips hold where the camera is going to be and you can put it to wherever you want and that's what the tripod is gonna sand it up and stain it and It'll be good to go. Just set out the parts and give it a little bit of stain and then we will assemble it. Once it's stained, just let it dry and we'll assemble it probably tomorrow once it's once it's all dried up the tripods have been completed with the adjustable legs and the clamp on the top for your camera and if you ever want a GoPro or anything you can just screw it onto there or, or if you wanted to you could just build a new block and then put your GoPro on top and just slide it on top. Yeah, and the legs on the other one, like cut them down. But with this tightened up, they seem to be pretty sturdy. Like the legs, it holds them pretty good.